Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's Saturday morning and I am finally on my way to the gun show. Got up this morning, made breakfast and got my stuff all packed up and hitting the road. In yesterday's video, I talked about that two times extender. I'm not surprised by the results that I got. I've read about them extensively. I've watched a shit ton of videos and I knew what I was getting into. I think that the, the person that directed me towards the two time extender rather than the 1.4 on the new 70 to 200 uh, version two, I think they were absolutely right. They were dead on. It is wonderful with that lens. It's a bit much with the 200 to 600. You know, naturally I'm thinking to myself, oh man, I'm gonna get 1800 if I go into crop mode. That's gonna be awesome. Under very, very controlled conditions, yes. I, I have, think that it has the potential to be not awesome, but okay. I think that for me at Pleasure House Point, I don't need 1800. I've gotten some banger pictures with 600, you know, and then if I put it in a crop mode, then 900. But that 1800, it's so shaky and it, it, like you need so much light for it that I just don't think that it's necessary for me to, to use it. I still will, will test it and see what I come up with, but I'm not expecting a miracle. I'm pretty thrilled with it and, and I'm good to go. So after this gun show, my friend Josh and I are, we're gonna go to Pleasure House Point. I also started on the weekend project of, of getting this center console, you know, in the Forerunner setup going. I still can't figure out why the hell this monopod became so jiggly. And I have to come up with a better way to mount this cheese plate. And I thought I had it last night, but it was, it was dark. I couldn't see what the hell I was doing. So I've got it up there and I've got that other monopod in place, but it is just swinging all over the place. Like there's no way I'm putting this camera set up on that. When all is said and done today, I will probably go to Home Depot, get a tap and die set. That way I can start trying various mounts and I got to figure out a better way to anchor this damn thing because it worked before and it wasn't that jiggly. And granted, I had it going across all the way. Now I have it turned so that it, you know, it's going this way, the longer side. So maybe, maybe that's just not gonna work and I need to switch it. I don't know, I'll have to figure all that out. So again, I started on the weekend project, but it's nowhere near done. And I'm gonna have to play around with this and see what I can come up with. I am not going to film the entire way to the gun show because I don't want this visible when I pull into the lot and then uh, I'll, I'll set it back up when we're on the way to Pleasure House Point. But for now, gun show! All right, kids, I, I'd say it was success. I found what I was looking for at the very last booth, but I found it. It, it was nice to walk around and look at stuff, uh, which I haven't looked at for a while. Obviously, you know, big gatherings like that have been frowned upon, so I haven't been to a show for a few years. So I like looking at all the knives and, you know, like a lot of times they have people that, that actually make their own so uh, in fact i used to frequent one guy's booth and i actually bought my wife a knife bottom line it was fun to walk around now we are uh, as you can tell i'm in the tunnel now we're heading to pleasure house point now to go do some shooting picture shooting not gun shooting since i was just at a gun show don't want you to get confused let's go shoot some birds all right so that was yeah i mean it was great to walk around but it was a total bust there were no birds out today it was kind of disappointing because you know i wanted to give him the opportunity to see all these birds and take some pictures and all that kind of stuff it wasn't all for nothing though because i had him put the 200 to 600 on his r4 and he was just like oh my god this is insane and then I had him put the two times extender on that. And, and he was like, this is this is just ridiculous. Like he goes, all right, damn it. Now I got to go buy one of these lenses. I think he's going to be ordering the 200 to 600 for his R4 setup. He's pretty stoked about it. And, and we had a good time. So mission accomplished. You know, we, we hung out and he also got to see the 200 to 600. He got to experience the two times extender and he also got to see version two of the 7200 since he had bought my version one. And he was like, dude, this is this is just insane. Like, I can't believe how freaking small this thing is. 
and, and light and everything compared to his version, you know, version one. And I was like, oh yeah, like I never th had any idea that it was gonna be this small and light. It was a good day, but I'm pooped. I, I had already walked my exercise ring off, like when we first got in there. So I got a lot of steps in today between walking that gun show and then walking around Pleasure House Point. I have not eaten since breakfast though. I am starved. So I'm gonna go home and, and see what the wife wants to do for late lunch or dinner. Now it's time to eat. Let's go eat. Whew, okay, what a long day. It is 10 after seven and I only sat still long enough to eat the lunch that I got us. And then I started to feel sleepy and I did not want to fall asleep on the couch. So I got up and I went to Home Depot to look for, well, I didn't know what I was looking for. I thought maybe I would get a tap and die set so that I can maybe put something together, but build it and have it the way that I want to with the right screws and, and the right threaded holes. And that just didn't work out. So what I ended up doing instead, well, plus they didn't have a tap and die set. Well, they had one, one tap and die set. And it was a hundred dollars. I just wanted the little like $25 one because I just need a quarter 20. So I'm gonna have to order it and just wait for it to come in. But in the meantime, I did find some quarter 20 rods. And I thought to myself, hmm, what if I take two quarter 20 rods that I can run down at the very ends of that cheese plate in the front and put them down to the proper length into the cup holder and then into the little thing that I put a pen on. And I thought, hmm, that might actually work because then I can get it down there and it won't, you know, they'll be adjusted for the correct height. Then I can move the cheese plate back a little bit so that it actually sits back there and then take those two quarter 20 rods and put them up through the cheese plate and set them down here. I'm gonna show you all that shit tomorrow because I didn't finish it because it was dark out by the time I got back and tried all that stuff. Lord help me, I don't know how I'm gonna do all this, uh, especially since I don't have any really good tools and I can't use the miter saw because that ain't gonna work. That's pretty much it for today. I've been all over the place, as you can tell. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward it up.